guy. Guy. It is Slater. Hey, hey, class. Welcome again to I Rock You. I am Professor Slater. Thank you for joining us here in room 1984. Births that happened that will be on the exam this week that you need to be aware of. Getty Lee from Rush turned 64 years young this week. Uh, Rex Brown, the uh, bassist from Pantera, is turning 53. Paul Geary and Gary Sharon. Paul Geary, of course, is the drummer for uh, Extreme. Gary Sharon was the singer for the band Extreme. Both of them are turning 56 years young this week. Abe Cunningham, the drummer for the band The Deftones, is turning 44. And Jacoby Shaddix, one of the coolest names I thought in the world of rock and roll, Jacoby, uh, is turning 41 years young this week. Uh, deaths. I really wouldn't want to say anyone died, but there was the death of a certain band. I guess you could say the 1.0 version. 1979, after a show in Cleveland, Ohio this week, Joe Perry quit Aerosmith when he gets in a screaming match with Steven Tyler on stage and then backstage. He is soon replaced by Jim Crespo, but he, of course, then returned to the band in 1984 and they went on to bigger and better things. Events inside the world of rock and roll that I need you to be aware of. Namely, Black Sabbath's 1975 album, Sabotage, came out this week. Highway to Hell came out in 1979. ACDC's Back in Black came out in 1980. Metallica's Kill 'Em All came out in 83. Ride the Lightning came out in 1984. Smashing Pumpkins' 1993 album, Siamese Dream, came out. This week in 1996, you had Alice in Chains Unplugged. And also, the Beastie Boys' Paul's Boutique came out in 1989, and Alice Cooper's Trash came out in 1989 as well. That being said and done, Mr. Cooper, you will be responsible for snacks next week. And please, nothing reptilian. On that note, we'll see you next week here at I Rock You. It is Slater.